In my first Tech Tips video, I spoke about how to remove and to solve the jello problem with the Insta360 Go fitted on an FPV drone. And a lot of you asked me in the comments to modify and to adapt the soft mount I designed to be used with the Insta360 Go 2. Today, what we have here is an Insta360 Go 2. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you that there's no need to have soft mount with this camera and how to remove jello problems with ND filters. Hi everyone! Last week was clear, sunny, hot in my village from Monday to Saturday night, but today it's Sunday and Sunday it means rain. So I'm here speaking with you about the Insta360 Go 2. Here we are, I finally had the possibility to put my hands on this very, very interesting camera. Today I would like to uh, share with you my experience I'm using this camera from about one month now, so I had possibility to uh, do some tries and as I told, it is quite simple to remove jello from this camera because it has the possibility to put ND filters on it. And ND filters and shutter speed is the key to remove jello and to have a very good footage from your FPV drone. As you can see here and as you can see on every review of this camera this is not a review for the insta360 go so if you'd like would like to get some infos about the insta360 go to just go on the tube and search for a review there are i think tons of them so this is the standard neutral lens that you have on the insta360 go to but you can buy something like this these one are the sony life nd filter set and I bought it on Amazon, they are extremely dirty, sorry. And uh, they are quite cheap, very fast uh, to get from Amazon. And I also bought the original ND filters you can buy from the Insta360 website that are made by Freewell. They are made with uh, very high quality, but uh, in my opinion, if you are going to use your Insta360 Go 2 for a standard YouTube video that are going to be shared on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or any other channel, I think that uh, the quality between these cheap Sony Life ND filters and the original free will is not so much to be considered the, the, the price difference. My experience with the Insta360 Go 2 started with this 3 inch Cineret with this uh, hard mount. This is an adjustable mount. You can see that there are these teeth in here and uh, with these two screws you can choose this position. You can find something like this on Thingiverse. I, I based my design on something that I found on Thingiverse. And this is an hard mount. This is hardly and strong fixed with uh, with the frame. Okay, in my first experience I just uh, decided to put the Insta360 Go 2 with uh, no ND filters, with nothing on it, just fitting it like this in here to be well protected and in safe position. Okay, you can see here it is and to make a flight just to see how it goes with this 3 inch drone and the result was this one as you can see the video was good the video was uh, was clear there was no no jello there was no strange vibrations the the image quality is is very good i'm i'm very satisfied with this uh, go to because the there is uh, a very big jump in relationship with uh, the, the Go 1 and uh, with uh, this uh, test I get back home and uh, I was trying to understand if uh, the absolute no jello situation was caused by the correct balancing of the propellers in the drone on the drone or maybe cause of something else because I I found uh, a lot of video on YouTube speaking about the go to jello problem. Back home, very happy, and uh, the video was good, the result was uh, interesting, so I decided to put the go to on um, another. This time it was my 5 inch Gap RC, and the result was quite different. As you can see here, I was flying uh, right over my house and uh, my village, and uh, now jello is here. Uh, not a lot of jello, but uh, you can see that uh, 
jello and vibrations appears extremely when the drone is flying and the camera is pointing at very lightful landscape and framing so uh, this was the proof that the big problem is light and uh, as everyone knows the only thing we can do to remove jello is to put ND filters and to reduce shutter speed okay so back is in here so so no wait a minute the camera is not here it's still in the drawer okay so i bought the ND filters you have ND4, ND8, ND16 and ND32 i started with an ND8 and the only thing I have to do is to connect the Insta360 Go 2 with the app you have on your iOS or Android smartphone device, iPad or anything you are using when you go out for a flight and navigate through the menus and look for the uh, setup of the shutter speed. You can set your shutter speed from 16400 to 130. With this setup you can get the, the result without uh, the need of uh, a soft mount or uh, something uh, that could be, yes, useful, but uh, it could be also quite dangerous in case of a crash because it is not so strong and not so safe. Okay, with the ND filters and the setup on the shutter speed, I get a result that is in my opinion amazing because as you all know when you reduce the shutter speed you remove jello but you also get motion blur out of your footage and motion blur it is an effect that is cinematic and it is very cool to see and the result is outstanding as you can see here there is no more jello at all for sure and uh, there is also a very cinematic effect of uh, motion blur in this video i used a setup of 160 shutter speed and an nd8 filter the setup to 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 get a correct uh, exposure of the video was uh, quite easy because you can use the, the live preview on your device on your smartphone for example and this feature it is very interesting because uh, it uh, was not possible with the Go 1 but now with the Go 2 is possible and this is very very useful to understand if you are using the correct and the filters uh, related with the correct shutter speed setup the only one thing I have to complain about the setup of the shutter speed in this camera it is that there's no possibility to save it as a preset. So all the time you have to start a video and connect the camera to your device. You have to navigate through the menu and select the shutter priority mode and then select the shutter speed you need. This is quite weird and not so comfortable to use. It would be interesting if Insta360 can achieve something like a preset menu, maybe with a firmware update. But uh, at the moment, as I found, there's no possibility. Maybe if you had time to try something and you found a way to, to do something like this, Please share your, your knowledge in, uh, in the comments below because uh, it, it would be very helpful and uh, very appreciated. The last thing I would like to speak is about weight and shape and dimensions. I know that uh, 7 grams it is not so much weight but uh, the Insta360 GO 1 was very very tiny and light. The Insta360 GO 2 it is not so tiny and not so light. As you can see here, it is a little bit larger and also thicker and longer and the weight is different. I had a very good success with my video about uh, how to remove jello and especially on how to use this one with the Tiny Oak Freestyle 2. I think that uh, quite all FPV pilots in the world started with uh, something like that and uh, I tried the Insta360 Go 2 on the Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2 but in my opinion it is a little bit heavy and a little bit too large and too big to be used on the Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. It is not so good like the Go 1. I printed this support here and as you can see the Go 2 is very very 
big when it is fitted on the tiny of freestyle too in my opinion this camera it is very interesting it gives you a very very good footage quality a very good stabilization and the, the jump from the go one it is enormous but it is not intended to be used with something so little in my opinion this camera it is good to be used on an fpv drones from three inch and over i used it uh, on the cyneret the diaton Taycan and uh, it is perfect for that uh, for the three inch size because it is much much lighter than a gopro 8 like the one i'm recording from now but the image quality it is very good so if you're going to buy the insta360 go 2 or if you have one don't spend your time thinking on a soft mount because it is not useful it could be dangerous if you're going to use it uh, on a freestyle drone in case of crash it can break easily so just consider to buy any filters navigate through the menu set up your shutter speed priority set up the correct shutter speed check the correct exposure with the live preview and you are ready to fly and you're going to have a very clear and good footage out of the insta360 go to it is enough for today because looking out of the window it is raining no more so maybe i can find time to fly a little bit uh, today because it's sunday so it's time to fly see you next time comment the video and uh, subscribe to my channel if you have any question or any doubt about uh, the go-to setup that uh, i used to record the footage you have seen in the video just uh, leave a comment and ask and uh, i will be happy to help you see you next time and remember stay always work in progress